South American country Ecuador is in the grip of a mounting crisis. President Daniel Noboa has ordered military operations against powerful criminal groups following a series of violent incidents. The country, once known for its tranquility, has been plunged into chaos after a prison escape by one of its most notorious criminal bosses, Jose Adolfo Macias, alias Fito. The situation escalated further when hooded gunmen stormed a television studio in the port city of Guayaquil. The attackers, armed with rifles and grenades, caused chaos and fear as they entered the TC television studio. A distressing plea for mercy was heard amid gunshots capturing the terror of the situation. President Noboa swiftly responded, declaring a state of internal armed conflict and ordering the military to neutralize these criminal groups. In a social media post, President Noboa stated, and here I quote, I have ordered the armed forces to carry out military operations to neutralize these groups. The violence spread to multiple cities with gangsters kidnapping police officers and setting off explosives in response to a 60-day state of emergency and nighttime curfew. The president's declaration of war on the cartels triggered a chilling response from the criminal elements. Video surfaced on social media showing kidnapped officers reading statements directed at President Noboa. One of the statements said, and I again quote, You declared war, you will get war. The statement threatened execution for anyone found on the streets after 11 p.m. Explosions, kidnappings and threats have created a state of panic across Ecuador. President Noboa remains resolute, vowing to restore peace to the nation and refusing to negotiate with the criminal elements. Simultaneously, a manhunt is underway for escaped narco boss Jose Adolfo Macias and another criminal leader, Fabrizio Colon Pico, has also escaped. The prisons across the country witnessed unrest, with guards taken hostage and military intervention required to regain control. The toll of drug violence in Ecuador has been severe, with a quadrupled murder rate from 2018 to 2022. Last year marked the most violent period with over 7,800 homicides. President Daniel Noboa faces a daunting task to quell the unrest, restore order and bring about a lasting peace in this South American nation.